We're back on Studio 12 here from the south end zone of Kyle. Are, are you going to join us, Will? Are you busy? I'm you here. Fin you I'm finished here, texting? A lot of things catch up. <laughs> He's so popular. He's pretty popular. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. How do you know it's not hate texts that I'm responding to? Well, I didn't get one yet, so I figure if you're going to send a hate text, it's coming my way. Well, no, they're sent my way. I've got to respond to them. Tori, you're lucky that you only have to deal with Will like once a week, maybe. Something like here. that. If he if he decides to come to, to <laughs> the interview. That's a good point. <laughs> to the <laughs> if I show up, you get to deal with me. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a come and go guy. I'm not a... I'm not all in all the time. When you're, when you're on air talent, Kristen, it kind of just depends. You know, you can kind of make your own schedule. Kind mm -hmm. of a diva, you know. Oh, man. There we go. Now you use that word. <laughs> the D word got dropped. D word. I mean, come on. Tori Vidalis and uh, I am Kristen. the only one in a jacket in a cold studio. That is true. I am a little. That is you know, true. I'm chilly here. I'm sweaty still, so I'm good right now. <laughs> she did this thing called workout. I don't yeah. know well, what you that You guys means. are in the midst of a season. The I mean, life of an athlete. So glamorous. It's, <laughs> it's a student athlete, Tori. Exactly. Don't, don't forget the student. Don't part. worry. I got no. class. In <laughs> 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 I got don't worry. I'll be in class here in a few minutes. So no, no Tor big deal. <laughs> Tori Vidalis, Kristen Coy is with us here talking Texas A&M softball. Tori, this is like what? This is the second time we've done this? Is, Third. Do we, we need to name this is segment at some point, don't we? We should solicit uh, viewer input as to what we'll mm. actually call this weekly segment. Give us some options, good options. You'd think we'd good. have that prepared on this show before we did this, but not with Matt and I. Uh, <laughs> not, no. No. I mean, no, off the Leave cuff. Leave it up to the viewers. We're going to <laughs> give, give you a segment. I mean, just do it. you got to give it. the people what they want. That's you right. know? And her exactly. <laughs> Let them name it themselves. Yeah. And her victim this week is Kristen. Kristen, uh, you know, this is what happens when you hit two grand slams. <laughs> In a weekend, this is what happens. You get drug in to have to talk to us two idiots for 10 minutes. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> She's like, I'll come talk to you. Yeah, all right. You tell me I'm going to hit two grand slams. <laughs> I, I'll, I can handle this for about 20 minutes. But you realize we don't even call them guests anymore. They're just straight-up victims that have to come they're, they're, Yeah, no, that's, how, that's kind of how that works. <laughs> Kristen, just uh, congrats on the weekend. You guys, 14 straight victories. You're 16-1 and one overall, creeping to the top 10 in the polls. Uh I guess it's an understatement to say it's been a fun start to the softball season, hasn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. What's, uh, go through the weekend with me just a little bit. I think coming in, I, I want to maybe ask about your, your attitude, your team's attitude. On paper, clearly, Texas A&M was going to be the best team this weekend. But for you all to come out and do what you did, outscore your opponents 44-2, to two, you gave up two runs total the entire time, you hit nine home runs as a team, what do you think that says about the makeup of your of your group to be able to do that in a weekend where, you know, it, it could have it might have been tempting to just kind of walk through it just a little bit. I think it shows all the hard work that we've put in as a team and that it's finally coming along and it's showing and we're surprising a lot of people. And so if we keep working hard and keep doing what we're doing, then we'll be perfectly fine in the future. Thirty one home runs at the point leads the nation at the at that point and <laughs> Kristen can you just speak to the power of this team I mean uh, to lead the nation with that amount of home runs at this point is pretty incredible yes sir so anybody in our lineup can it go up there at any given time and just produce people off the bench or people just top nine in the lineup anybody can go up there and just show what they have and have confidence in themselves and hit the ball mm -hmm. Victoria we were joking in the office yesterday I thought it was kind of funny that we hit nine home runs as a team and we don't we only call your name once uh, which is just kind of funny the way that works out but you still hit over 400 in the tournament what does it mean to have like Kristen said the bats up and down the lineup how scary is that uh, you think for opposing pitchers oh wow um like having a uh, defense or offense one through nine is amazing I mean knowing that you don't have to depend on one person in the lineup is such a huge thing. And especially in the SEC, you can't pitch around this person to get to this person. And a lot of times last year we would come to that point where they would try to pitch around me and get Callie. But now Callie's right behind me and she's going to get up there and she's going to hit a home run. So it's it's kind of bad news for our opponents because now they have to pitch to everyone in the lineup and really suffer if they do. So I'm just glad that we're all really producing and really stepping up to what we're able to do in practice and really show you guys what we can do. Uh, Kristen, one thing I wanted to ask you about, it's a number I think that gets overshadowed over the weekend with all the <coughs> offense and the pitching. It was the number zero, zero errors in the field for you guys the entire weekend. I mean, just talk about the defense that you guys were able to play out there. So this past week, Coach really emphasized us working hard on our defense and just sharpening up and 
getting back to how we play defense and how we have to back up our pitchers and know that we have their back and they can just go out there and throw balls and have trust in us and know that we're going to make the plays. Going back to the home runs real quick, I mean, you mentioned like like Callie would come up after you and you just said she's going to hit a home run. Are you guys going to start calling your shots kind of like Babe Ruth? <laughs> pointing? Just, mean, just point out to left field. Yeah, and I want to know <laughs> what Joe Evans would react like at third base if she saw one of you go up there and call your uh, shot. I'm just look at that, that face. Uh, look at She's Kristen's face like, right now. Probably that's not. a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She might line. like the confidence. Yeah. On the other hand, she may tell you, hey, back it off. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could see both ways that happening. So, <laughs> hey, but you, if you can call a home run, go ahead. She I'll call it for you in the dugout if yeah. you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you guys are going back out to California this yes. week, to San Diego. San Diego. You were in Cathedral City a couple of weeks ago. And, I mean, and I, I, you know, in my schedule where I come and go, mm -hmm. I wasn't here last right. week, right after you guys got back from Cathedral City, California. But I'll ask, even since I wasn't here, just since you're going back to California, I mean, was that a week where you guys really found out about yourself? I mean, playing that many good opponents, beating them, even the last game against New Mexico when you're down going into the last inning, you score five runs to win it. I mean, Tori, is that a weekend where you really leave it and say, hey, we can be something in 2016. Absolutely. I think we went into that weekend knowing that we were going to play these teams and knowing that we had to be completely in the game physically and emotionally. And with those types of games, you're so locked into everything that happens and you're you're exerting all your energy into cheering for your teammates and trying to focus in on what do I have to do next or what do we need to do. And I think for us it was really a big deal knowing that we could help out our pitchers and, like, letting them know that they can go out there and not have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the biggest thing for us is making our pitchers know that they don't have to be perfect. Like, we'll have your back on offense and we'll have your back on defense. And that's where we hang our hat. You know, we have to be solid on defense to make plays, get those outs, and stay on top of our game. And I think if we produce our numbers that we've been producing offensively, then we'll be fine. And I think we really figured that out in California the first time. Mm -hmm. Same for you, Kristen. I mean, did you look at it and – say uh, that was a special weekend and that could take us a long way this year oh yeah we I think that one thing that we really did well was pay attention to like the little details like mm -hmm. we corrected each other we knew like if somebody did something wrong hey like pick it up like do this right do that right but, like we just know that we can tell each other anything and then we'll pick it right back up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tor, go ahead Tor. oh and I think the the game that we learned the most about ourselves was that last game when yeah. we were down five runs mm -hmm. I mean you go into seventh inning you're down five runs I mean god to win a game <laughs> after you just beat three ranked teams if we would have lost that game it would have wiped out everything that we just did and I felt we had so much fight in us and we really wanted to win that game and I think at that point we were all so tired and we were just fighting through that and mm -hmm. I think the the main thing was not thinking about how tired we were and not thinking about mechanics or anything like that just going up there and just swinging the bats and being heads up, the uh, the play by Caitlin and Ashley uh, Walters, when she struck out on that short hop, just for her to just drop her bat and run, you see a lot of people would just swing and just uh, like, like drop their out. shoulders. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, I just struck out. But she, she took off as soon as she swung because I watched it back. Mm -hmm. And she, she wow, Without it just hesitation. amazed me yeah. how quick she just reacted to that. And then Caitlin was ready to go. She knew that that, that play was going to happen. So that's just something – that was huge for our team and I think yeah. really bonded us as a team because oh, we knew yeah. that we could fight back and really get back into a game like that. That's true to be so heads up after a play that starts with a negative, yeah. mm -hmm. a strikeout, and you win the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's attentive. and That's something you'll never hear about too. Right. Like, exactly. Ashley no, Walters, no. it'll say in stats she struck out, but it won't say that she won the game for us right there. Game-winning strikeout. Exactly. exactly. There you go. That's never, no, that's you don't you hear do. that very often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Kristen, you mentioned the little things. We're talking with uh, Kristen Coyas, Tori Vidalis uh, here on Studio. 12 uh, the Aggies in San Diego six games this weekend at the San Diego Classic you'll be able to listen to them by the way on our sister station 1550 KWBC um, you mentioned the little things and, and obviously if you all are able to play at this level this is something you focused on your entire career as you grow as an athlete but is that something that maybe becomes even more emphasized now it's year two for you in the SEC you've gone through the wars you guys played a ton of close games last year <laughs> Do you notice maybe now that you're just a little bit older that every little thing really can help you win a game, especially in a league like this? Oh, yes. So, like, 
last year, like, when I was swinging, I couldn't tell what I was doing wrong. And, like, Tori would be like, oh, your hands. Like, you could just, like, she knew, like, she saw, but, like, I wasn't able to feel it. And so this year, I think, with working with Coach Glasgow more and just being more, like, hard work and stuff, I can tell, like, when I'm underneath the ball, just like, oh, chop the wood, like Tori says. Get on top yeah. of the ball. Chop that wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, be when you lead the league in uh, in home runs, then yeah. I guess you <laughs> got to yeah. figure, it out, right? figure it out pretty wise. Kristen, how much fun have you had with this group? How much fun is it to be around this team every day? It's a blast. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Who's the uh, Who's the clown of the group? Oh, Plenty Bree. of them. Bree. <laughs> 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 Lean pocket. <laughs> Lean pocket. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Okay, yeah, you no, you explain it because it's really funny. All right, so I call Brie Lean Pocket. Yeah. So uh, we were talking one day because we do these things called DEXAs. We do DEXA scans, and so we are constantly trying to get better in shape and just work out and just be fit. And so I, <laughs> Brie goes. <laughs> I saw her in the grocery store one day, and she was looking at lean pockets. <laughs> and I was like, Brie, what is the difference between a lean pocket and a hot pocket? And she goes, oh, less calories. It's better for you. I'm like, Brie, it, it's probably not that much better for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's like, oh, yes, it is. Like, I'm convinced. Like, it's in her head. Like, she knows it's better for her. And so ever since then, I'm just like, all right, lean pocket. <laughs> and it's so funny because I'll come no. home, and she'll be like, I'll, I'll go, hey, did you eat lunch? Yeah, I had a lean pocket. <laughs> I'm like, Bree, that's not lunch. Like, yeah. <laughs> you guys live together? Yes, we, we, do. we do. I'm going to bring her next week. You guys are going to be in for a treat. Oh, be too many inside stories but laugh. next week. I'll admit, I've, I've, I've bought some lean pockets in the past. I only the not. pizza flavors. I have not. Only the, the pizza. pizza versions. <laughs> Pizza's not healthy. No, well, clearly not. But it's good. For, it's good for me. I love it. But I feel like I'm good eating a healthier good hot pocket. Good I, I get where she's coming from. I'll defend her next week. But I'll but defend her. Br- Brie is this. sticking to the commitment to the lean oh, yeah. pocket still. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Geez. There's probably about five boxes in our freezer right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> They're ever out at the grocery store, Kristen. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. Come to our house. We got you. <laughs> you know where to go. <laughs> Save on lean pockets. Hit their household. That's good stuff. So. Yeah, it seems like you guys do have a lot of a lot of fun on that team, though. A bit oh, up and down the lineup. It and is all over. so fun. At like and like she said, it's just there's nothing else you'd rather be doing and. You spend so much time together during season between workouts, practice, uh, team meetings, and just different functions that we have throughout the season, and it's so fun. Like, I look forward to every single one. I wake up in the morning, and I think, wow, like, this team is something special, and I think you can really tell by the chemistry we have on the field, and in the end, that does take you a long way. Even if you're not the most talented team in the world, you have that chemistry, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get you places, and I feel like... With our talent and with our chemistry, I think I think we're in for a good run this year. Mm-hmm. On that, we were just – coach was talking the other day about, like, how our chemistry is so good. And usually coaches are like, in the beginning of the season, oh, my God, their chemistry is so great. And usually by mid-season or at the end, they're like, oh, my God, we hate each other. Like, <laughs> so far that hasn't happened, and it's rare for a team to have so much chemistry. Mm-hmm. Well, even in the, you know, the one, one game you've lost this year, I mean, it, you guys didn't roll over. You didn't pack it in. You know, against a good team, UCLA, Mm -hmm. you were able to just kind of come back and and continue to fight. You had a chance to put the tie run of the plate, I think, in the last inning. Did we? Close to it. I mean, you had you had some you had you opportunities might. in that last inning to, yeah. to push some runs across. Yeah, I mean, losses are going to happen, and I feel like that's just part of the game, and no one's going to be perfect. And with that being said, I think just how you respond to a loss and how you respond to the negative aspects of this game is really going to say a lot about you as a as a player and as a teammate. And coming back to that stronger is going to help you progress and get better. And I think being able to come back like we do after we strike out or hit a pop fly and really adjusting so whether it's bad or good just knowing that you can always be better Mm -hmm. is that that's really our thing is we can always be better do you find it funny Kristen that you've got you know now just as a sophomore you've got two freshmen on either side of you in the infield (laughs) (laughs) you have to you have to kind of keep them in line a little bit help them out some it's different but they have so much love for the game and they're so talented and they work extremely hard so it's really fun to have them beside me who's the quietest of the four freshmen oh caitlin 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 for sure sure. Mm. she's starting to open up a little bit but she's She's the sneaky, seems quiet like one. If you talk to her, she'll definitely talk, talk to you yeah. back. Well, it seems and she's like being around this group, you can't stay too quiet for no, too long. Yeah, well, her and Keely together, you get <laughs> them together, oh, oh, my gosh, you can't get them to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> but when she's just sitting there, she'll just sit there by herself. And I thought it was so funny. One day we were in pregame, 
and this rap song came on and the words were just going so fast and she's over there just like saying all the words just to herself <laughs> and i look at her and i'm like okay caitlin i see you girl uh-huh. and she's like yeah and she and like, then gets probably stops and gets yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go That's and then we all look away exactly. and i look back and she's doing it again i'm like I'm catching on to you. Yeah. Like, I know. <laughs> now, they all sang on the bus, I guess, last week, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. I know Samantha did because she explained her oh, song yeah. to oh, us yeah. last her week. Oh, yeah, song was good. What did yeah. Caitlin sing? I think it was Baby Bye Bye Bye, right? Oh, yeah. She uh, sang, and she did the Bye yeah, Bye yeah, yeah. Bye. I think oh, so. Yeah. Mm. Bye Bye. Have you, you picked have your song like yet? Are y'all doing a song this week? I think we should do a class skit. That would be funny. I think we should get we up have and down the bus aisle. An entire cast in our cl- on a, in our class. Oh, so yeah. I think yeah. it would work. Like some mm-hmm. Put on a nice little production. Or we're all in yeah. Mm-hmm. Together. <laughs> 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 now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. I feel bad for our radio audience. They don't get to see this, but we do have it on video too. So <laughs> you can check it out at twelve exactly. dot com. So yeah. <laughs> check out the moves. <laughs> These are famous dance moves, actually. Oh, yeah. So famous. <laughs> well, guys, really appreciate the time. Have a lot of fun in California. I would say eat an In-N-Out burger for me, but oh, I, you man. guys don't need to be doing that. Might you not need be to play. on the, on the hey. menu. For I'll get. Us. Us. <laughs> I got In-N-Out burger Saturday out in uh, Malibu or West yeah. Lake Village. Yeah. Thanks we were. for bringing one wow. back. Well, very right? nice of you. Ours. Way to share the love. Uh, well, yeah, see, now you got three people mad at mm-hmm. you. Do they stay until? I'm gonna send you Wednesday? a hate message now. If I eat an In-N-Out burger on Wednesday night and get one to go, or excuse me, on Saturday night and get one to go, does we'll, it stay we'll till know. Wednesday? We yeah. won't know. Now we'll <laughs> never know. Kristen has a valid point, Will. We'll never know. It doesn't have to be that fresh. It's still good. It's In-N-Out burger. It is. Just put it <laughs> in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just like a lean pocket. Put it next yeah. to the lean pocket. <laughs> Stock up on the lean pockets and in and out burger. Uh, Imported in from California. I love it. 